Hey, this is Jordan from Woven War, and I want you to put your horns up. Inside Adol Hands Bar, the listening party for Woven War. Brand new band, brand new album is out right now by Metal Blade Records. This is Shane, how are you, brother? Good, man. What's up? And this is Jordan, how are you, man? Doing well, man. It's chilling. How does it feel to listen to your record finally in a bar scenario, you know, kind of like let it sink in? It's pretty surreal. Um, this past year has gone by so fast that uh, I haven't actually got to, I haven't had time to like really believe that we're even a band yet <laughs> so but it's great it's insane to me you guys basically just got the virgin ice on stage you did a few shows over in the west coast how were those shows how was the reaction of the fans and you know what can people expect from woven war i mean shows are great i mean uh, it's like your first tour is like with black label society zach wild it's like can't like think of a better way to start things off with a new band and uh uh, just obviously their support and um, their fan support and our fan support coming out to those shows. And then uh, wrapping it up with like some hometown shows in L.A., Orange County, and San Diego. Like, it, was, it was a really cool feeling. You know, I think uh, obviously being home for the last year, like starting this new band, writing this new record, recording it, getting ready for the release and all the touring. You know, like our, our biggest support system, like, Obviously, besides our fan and like the, you know peers and industry and was our was our family and friends. So to have all those people out at those shows supporting us was like very special thing for all of us, you know. And um, very very cool moment to share like with like you know all the dudes like in the band and uh, just all of our friends and family, you know. So and so far, which are the songs that you love singing the most? Because I know it's very fresh, but so far, which are the ones that are freaking um, the fans out? I think uh, Death to Rights is going over pretty well live. Um, that's one of my favorites to sing just because lyrics mean a lot to me. But uh, I really like playing Tempest. Um, I really like handing over lead vocals to Josh on Matter of Time. That's great. And yeah, he kills it every time. Um, Profane's really, really fun to play live, but I have a really long scream in it, and I almost pass out every time I do it. So that's always fun. <laughs> You're still building the... Sorry, what? You're still building the stamina for that yeah, song? Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. Hey, man, why don't you take us from, like, the moment, basically, that Asali and I had to face the decision, basically, that you got to keep going or not going, and then to, you know, have the balls, the guts to start a whole brand new band, man. I mean, like, I think, you know, first priority was just, like, playing again together. You know, whenever, after everything happened, you know, after a fairly short amount of time when, I guess, the... The, the result was inevitable that like we were no longer going to be touring with Asley Dying or at least like in that form that we had before. <laughs> um, it, it, you know, it just made, to us it made sense to one, like preserve like the legacy of Asley Dying. And by doing that out of respect for like our fans and um, just all the work, you know, that like and, and support that we have been like, I guess given. Um, Starting a new band like was the only decision, you know. I think, given the circumstances, and um, sorry, hearing my aunt, this me, I'm just like my brain's <laughs> kind of getting scattered. But anyways, yeah. But starting a new band, we just felt like we didn't want to do Asley Dying Number Two. We thought it was a dis, it would be a disrespect to our fans, and and the past and what we built together. With Shane, it was it's a whole new thing, you know, and like having like the completion like of, of the new band with him like it definitely like made it made us feel even more confident about the decision to start something new um, and uh, yeah and I think even stylistically like we didn't want to do Asley Dying number two like in, in, in a musical sense so having him and and obviously Shane's like capabilities like it, 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 this, the, the sound of like the new record was almost like uh, 
an organic result of just having someone someone new in the band. So. Yeah, I think you make make them sound like a different band, and I'm sure that was the objective. That you know that people are not like, oh, it's the Saturday Dying number two. It's a completely different band, of course, with the core that is the Saturday Dying. So, how was for you that moment that you were like, got the call, and they were like, hey, man, we want to jam with you? Uh, I was on Warp Tour with uh, last year with the Sleeper, and Nick called me, and I was like, yeah. And then uh, I talked to the other guys in my band about. It. They're like, you have to do that. You'd be an idiot not to. And so right after that tour, I flew out, and um, the first song we wrote was All Rise, but I didn't really like think about any certain way to write. I just did what I knew I could do, and then it turned out that they liked it, and we went on from there. Let's talk about the video for All Rise, well, about the concept behind it, who you are working with on that video, let's tell people about it. Uh, this dude, Scott Hansen, did it, and uh, we really just wanted it to be more of a performance video to like introduce you know, what everybody looked like, and so at concerts, everybody would know, you know who, who was doing what. And uh, in the end, he sort of ran with it and had all these ridiculous, crazy cool images and stuff. We had really no idea what it was, was going to look like. We just knew like the type of stuff that we liked visually, and he just ran with it himself. And uh, we saw it like a week ago, and we were like, "Whoa, it was great!" So that's pretty much it. It was great working with him. He was a really cool guy. It went really fast. It was great. How about the record itself? Who were you guys working with? And the main question that a lot of us, all the fans have: Were there some parts, some songs? that were maybe going to be on the next side and Darren record or did you guys scratch everything and said, okay, we're going to start from scratch? Oh, yeah, well, we started from scratch. I mean, it's, he says the new band and um, and I think we were, the, 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 the process of writing this record was like, you know, a, a form of therapy for us too, you know, and I think from, from that point, point of view and that perspective, I think it was just, let's write something that's us and like, you know, the, the way everything happened was a little more or less organic, you know, even, Shane, uh, you know, is like a perfect example, uh, just helping shape the sound of what we didn't really like specifically know what the end result was going to be. So, um, but uh, as far as like the production on the record, uh, you know, we had worked with Bill Stevenson and Jason Livermore on the last As Like Dying record, and uh, we had, you know, such a great experience with them. And, you know, with the new band after we started writing, it made it. It like made even more sense to, to try to record with them again because of like one like our history together, and then also just like their ability and like the, the way that they uh, help produce and track records. You know, it's very organic. It's like it's it's taking what's there and keeping what's there, but just kind of trying to like you know make each of those parts hit a little bit better. You know, and um, help round out the songs. But really, like they don't mess too much with like the formation and like the, the original like intent. So. Was there a lot of trial and error to get away from the shadow of Asali dying on, with your new band? No, there really wasn't. I mean, I think the writing process was 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 a lot of fun. You know, it wasn't like let's see how how many times we can regurgitate, like you know, and get heavier and heavier. You know, it's like it was just all right, cool. Let's see, like how like how we could pull this part, how we could bring it down, you know, and and pull it back up, and just the dynamics. Like I think were much more natural to us and. Uh, it came naturally to us, which was something that we had never really done before, you know, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. All right, there's a lot more groove, so you as a drummer, is it harder to play faster or slower? You know, it's it's different, you know, it's like apples and oranges. I mean, like, as an example, this is the first record I've ever recorded by hi-hat closed. I closed it like this, and I'm like, how do I do this, you know? I'm just like, usually my feet are like flying like this, you know, like mil miles an hour, and it's like... Um, but you know, so it was, it was, it was like, I, I took, I mean, I, I guess just naturally took a different approach, like going into the studio and had a lot more room to like, just kind of feel out the music and try different things and a lot more time to try different things and, and, uh, and, and fills and different parts just because I wasn't have to like worry about like, you know, playing at 90 miles an hour, you know, and getting it like, you know, to perfection, you know, it's like, I could focus on just kind of feeling everything a little bit more and listening to what he's doing, listening to what guitars are doing, and just being creative, you know? It's cool. Uh, I think from what I saw, everything you guys went through, it seems like it was a very lethargic process for you guys. So you said therapeutic to kind of get this out 
And I'm sure from here on, your band is going to keep growing because you have the mentality of you are a new band. And you're taking everything, basically, as you said, from scratch to, to see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, and you're right. And I think this band is going to be like a continuous therapy, like like not just for, you know, that one event, you know. I mean, obviously that one event like definitely changed the direction like we all thought we were going to go. Um, but it's just, it's like a new book, you know. And for us, it's just we're, we're going to keep writing it, you know, and it's it's not going to stop. So. And Shay, what's coming from you guys? I know you are, as you said it before, you're on tour with Black Oak Society and King. Anything else you want to tell the fans about that's coming up for you guys? Uh, we're about to go to Europe with Inflames. Did you already say that? No, nope. not yet. Here, yeah. nope. um, in October, we'll be out with Inflames for a month and a half all over Europe. So that's going to be insane. And we're very stoked about that. And I've, we're going to a lot of countries that I've never been to that I'm really excited to go to, like Spain, um, never been to Paris, never been to Finland, so it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. You're going to get a lot of stamps on that passport. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Can't wait. Hey, man, last but not least, if and when Tim gets out of prison, are you guys planning on getting anything together for Asalia dying, or is that chapter closed for now? I mean, it's not really even in focus at this point. You know, it's, it's kind of like... What's, what's done has been done, and our focus is, like, this new band, you know, and who's to say what's going to happen in the future, like, with anything. So it's like, you know, obviously it's, you can't try to, like, for us, like, we're not going to focus on something that we, like, really have no control over at this point. So, um, yeah, but really, like, our focus is the new band, and, like, that's it. Awesome. Woman War self-titled album is out right now via Metal Blade Records. This is Shane. The new face of metal. You've been around for a while, but now more people are going to see it in Jordan, of course, man. Again, it takes a lot of balls and guts to what you guys are doing to, like, get everything from the ground up. And it's proof, man, that if you have the right music, the passion, the attitude, especially when it comes to heavy music, you can do it all. Again, they're on tour right now with Black Society and King, and they're going to be going to Europe this October with none other than In Flames. Any last words for the fans watching, man? Sorry? Anything else you want to tell the fans watching? Uh, keep rocking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, honestly, we want to thank like all of our fans like for giving us so much support over this last year and uh, with this new band, and obviously thank like all, all of, like our peers and like in the media, and, like in, in industry, like for giving us all this support, being behind us, and um, definitely like it's uh, it's it's an indescribable feeling and sentiment, you know, uh, like like just being out here again. And being able to, to communicate with people like that we haven't really been able to for, for a long time, you know, and obviously like the, the support for Shane, um, you know, kind of joining the, the four of us has been overwhelming. And from his band, like Go Sleeper, like giving us their support, like it just, it's, uh, it's really cool. And obviously we feel very fortunate, very lucky, like to have all of this, you know, so good things to come. Cool, man. Let's go party. We have idle hands. It's time for beer.